Hey guys, so today I have a DIY Valentine's Day heart mug that I think is just perfect for Valentine's Day um, as a little gift and you are going to need a mug, a heart stencil, scissors, sharpies, tape, and then for gift ideas, some M&Ms, some notebooks, fun nail polishes, and a handwritten note. Okay, so now you're just going to want to go onto any kind of like paint, mine is paint uh, for windows, and I just made a little heart stencil. Um, and you might want to print up like maybe one or two or three different um, sizes just so that you kind of have some, I don't know, availability, and just in case one's too big or too small or just whatever. And then you're just going to cut um, a square sized shape around it because you need that as that's going to become your stencil. Um, and then just cut out the inside of the heart, um, like so. And then you are just going to tape the outside of the heart, like, to the mug. But I found it easier to tape it to, like, my counter and then stick it to the mug just so that it would kind of stay in place. Um, so I just taped it on there. And you kind of just want to know where do you want it. And I thought that was a good place, so that's kind of where I put it. And I feel like I'm rambling on. So, um, yeah. Okay, so since my mug was round, I had like a little, um, kind of like a bump in the middle, so I just snipped it, and then I just taped it down, um, on either side, um, and it actually worked out really, really well, so I'm really happy about that, but yeah, you might get a bump, you might not, kind of just depends, um, and then just pick whatever color Sharpie you want. Those I thought were kind of the Valentine's Day colors, so this one I'm just going to be coloring in red and you just want to start by outlining the um, heart or the stencil so you want to outline it first and then color in the um, the actual heart in the middle and all that Okay, so I just went ahead and did the same exact thing on the, all three of my mugs. Um, so I just taped and cut and colored in. Okay, so once mine had dried, I just kind of did like not a full second coat, but just kind of touched up some of the places that were just a little, not all the way filled in. Um, and then I just took off the stencil and it actually turned out really, really well. Um, so I just had to touch up the outside just a little tiny bit just to make um, straighter lines. And yeah, so I just did that on all of them. Okay, so now you're just going to set the oven for 350 degrees and you're going to bake the mugs for 30 minutes. Um, so just put them into a little pot sort of thing with sides though because like you don't want them to fall off. Like that would be really, really bad. Yeah, okay, so you're just going to put them in there and then once the oven is ready, you're just going to stick them in there and wait uh, 30 minutes. Okay, so now that the 30 minutes are up, you're just going to take them out of the oven and you want to let them cool for about three to four hours. I let mine cool for three hours and they were totally cool, they were not hot um, or anything. And then I just took them out of the pot after the three hours and yes! Okay, so now moving on to gift ideas. 
Okay, so you could just write them a little Valentine's Day note and just stick it in the mug, and then you could just like ding dong ditch them, but they would have to have a surprise when they open the door. Um, so you'll, yeah, you could just leave it there or actually like give it to them at school, um, or just whatever. Or you could fill them with some uh, little fun things in my notebooks. M&M's and nail polishes are all from Target. Um, I think that that's just really fun. Um, and also a handwritten note. So I just put the notes in and then I, um, I stuck in the M&M's and the nail polishes in the little um, Valentine's Day notebooks. Um, yeah, so I really, really love how they turned out. I think they just look adorable and I don't know, I'm really happy about them, how they turned out. Okay, so you do not want to put them in the dishwasher. Uh, they would, the dishwasher would just strip the um, Sharpie off. So instead, you want to hand wash them. And I would even be careful about that. Um, but if it rips off, you can always Sharpie it and bake it again. Totally easy. But just rinse it off and just lie it on a towel and just let it be until it is dry. Um, I did try to towel it off, like with an actual towel, and it did, it stripped it a little bit, it actually wasn't that bad, like you can't even tell on the purple heart right now, um, but yeah, I definitely would be careful, just hand wash it and just put it on there, um, to, put it on the towel to dry. So thank you guys so much for watching, thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it, and also let me know if you guys would rather see a Valentine's Day nail tutorial or a makeup tutorial as my last Valentine's Day um, video. So just make sure you comment below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!